is up guys, welcome to the Tyson Guy channel, I'm the Tyson Guy and today I'm going to be doing my first Photoshop tutorial, just the basics, layouts and how to import, blah de blah de blah, things like that and all the tools and things like that. We're going to get straight into it, so this is Photoshop CC, exactly the same, or well a few more tools have been added but pretty much exactly the same as uh, CS6, so if you've got CS6 you can follow this tutorial as well. You can download the trial at adobe.com um, It's just all you have to do is just sign up and it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to download So it's pretty easy to get you get 30 day free trial, which is what I'm on at the moment <laughs> Seeing as I can't afford 700 quid to buy it um, But yep yeah, acquire that in whatever way you feel necessary and then you can follow this tutorial So I'm gonna go through the tools down here first. This is your select tool just move things and things like that. No, that's your select tool. This is just your move tool. Lasso tool. That's your magnetic lasso when you drag around things, or you got your free lasso here, and that one just goes around shapes. Um, this is your quick selection and your magic one, which is another selection thing. Crop and all your slices and perspective. Uh, that's your color picker or eyedropper, as Photoshop call it. That's your healer or healing brushes. Which um, I think that's for when, obviously when you're editing faces and things like that. Brushes, again, pencil and brush. Leave it on brush, seems that's probably the best one out of the two. Stamps, uh, that's to go back to previous brushes. Rubber and other erasers. Gradient and, yeah, uh, your fill tool. Smudge and sharpen and smudge and blur, yep. That one's your dodge burn and sponge tool. I've not actually used these, so we'll have to see what <laughs> see what they do. Pen tool, which is just a bit weird, but you could use it. Text, obviously. Um, that's just you know selecting your paths, which paths are basically single strokes, which have a path inside them. You can select single strokes. Um, that one is your shape tool, your hand tool, and rotate, and your zoom, and this is your colors along with up here. So down the sides of here, you have your layers, which will obviously appear when you put something on your canvas. Uh, your channels, which will also appear, and your paths. But for this one, I'm going to be doing kind of like a tutorial within the tutorial. And I'm going to get a YouTube banner, which is that one there. I'm going to make one while also going through all the tools at the same time. But up here, we've got where you import and export. That one's your edit, where you can you know move, copy, paste, things like that. That's all your trimming and sizing and things like that. That's your layers, obviously. Type, which is where you sort out your page. Select is where you can obviously select and deselect things. Filter is where you do all your effects. 3D, clues in the, clues in the name. Your view, again, you zoom in and zoom out. And that's just where you select all your little boxes, what you can have up. And obviously, if I don't go through something in enough detail then you can either ask me to go through it again in the comments or come to this tab and get someone or the computer at Adobe to help you but either way it's fine I think and so now I'm just gonna get straight in and import something so if you go to file and open make sure you go to Google images first and found if you type in a YouTube banner template if that's what you want to make then uh, you can do that. If you don't want to no, make one, then don't bother. Just follow whatever. <laughs> okay, so once you've found your, your image, what I've got, that's what I've downloaded here. Just download it and move it to your desktop so it's easy to find. And then click and it will open. This is in a 2550 by 1440 resolution, which is what you've got to upload. And these boxes along here are where you can put your things. That's how much you can see on a desktop maximum. Tablet. And logo safe areas. So this is where you put your name. Any information has to fit in that basically that between those two red boxes. But I would if you've got a background, extend it to the blue or the green. Either one will be fine. I would say to the blue so it doesn't get too much distorted. So this is your layer zero. So I'm just gonna rename this. So you just click on it twice like that and rename it. I know banner templates. Which then you will obviously delete at the end because you don't want all this around it. This is just where you can put your stuff. And then I would go to somewhere like Google Image again, like this, and then go back and just type in um, a panoramic because it's got to be long, obviously, for a 
or import your own um, picture, obviously. Panoramic background, so it's just nice and long like this. So I've got this here. And just wait for it to load. Uh, <laughs> yep, internet's a bit slow at the moment, but we got that. So we download the image. It goes down there. Wait for it to download. Go back to this. Wait for it to download. And then shift it over here. Oh, God, I just moved it off. Oh, what the frick? Okay. Oh, it's not. Didn't finish. Right, shift it over here as well. Did I just put it in the bin? No. Right. <laughs> Where have I put it? Give me a minute. Oh. That was up there. Right. So now if I go to my desk, if I open it again and open that photo instead now, which is there, you'll see it puts it into a different image. Now what I want to do to get it into the same one is drag this out as Adobe Photoshop works in tabs. Get this tool here, make sure that's on, and just drag it straight in. Now you may see that's a bit big. So you've got it in your layer here, so I'm just going to click main back ground make sure you name your layers by the way as it makes everything a lot easier and then go to edit transform and scale and it's obviously let you scale it down to the size that you need now obviously i wouldn't have this as my background on a on a youtube banner but it's just for the sake of for the sake of the of the video i just used whatever it's just nice and long as you can see <laughs> and it'll fit perfectly into the area that we need it to if we just make sure we stretch it correctly and scale it correctly wow this is really long okay hopefully that's a bit shorter flipping it <laughs> okay that's nice and then put it into the blue lines cover the blue line cover the blue line pull it down and make sure you just leave a little bit down at the bottom so you can see where everything's going to fit. So that's yeah, my background. Um, it's a bit weird, but it's it's there and it doesn't matter. So I've shown you now how to import this image into another image and have it like a as a banner. Uh, so hopefully that's that's your starting point. That's where you need you need to have these basic things that you need to know. So remember, everything works in tabs. So you need, these are your tabs up here, and you need to pull it out and drag it back in using this tool here. Apply the transformation, yes. Okay, so that's that in. Completely fine. That's your basic tools that, if you're going to use Photoshop for anything, you need to know how to use those tools. There's no other way around it. So, very, very sure, I think, but I wanted to keep this one concise. You know where the things are now. If you forget, just look back at the video and they'll be there. And now you know how to import another image into a different image. So thanks for watching guys, please comment, rate and sub and I'll be going into more editing tools and other things like that in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching, please comment, rate and sub and I'll see you in the next video.